Hi, Nini here, Body Peace Coach. I want to respond to a wonderful woman who reached out and said, do you have any advice for dating in a larger body? She said, I really want to meet somebody who really gets me and appreciates who I am just as I am, but it's really hard. And I want to say a few things about that. One, it is because our culture has sizeism, weight bias, fat phobia. We have a culture that is obsessed with thinness and thinks that that's the only way that beauty shows up is in a small package. And that's just not the truth. It's not. We come in all size shapes and sizes and we all have our own brand of beauty. So when you're coming up against this like, oh my gosh, I have to look a certain way to attract somebody into my life. Well, yeah, that's kind of real. We live in a really toxic culture when it comes to beauty and size. So one thing is just sort of reality check. Yes, it is hard. The other is I'm sort of initially when she asked, I was like, I'm not sure I'm the right person <laughs> to ask about dating advice because I have been married for over 24 years. And then I realized actually the way that I can come at this, I think can be really helpful, which is the power of being with somebody who says your body as it is now and as it will be in five years and five years after that and five years after that and after that and after that is perfect. My husband jokes he's kind of lucky he's been with many women because my body's changed over and over and over again because that's what bodies do. We absolutely change. We are always evolving, right? So to be with somebody who says yes, you as you are right now is fabulous and as you are five minutes from now or five years from now, is fabulous and as you are when your body is not feeling well is fabulous right to have that external validation it feels good yes do we want to be the one who loves ourselves do we want to be the one who has peace within ourselves absolutely we want to foster that but it's a lot easier to foster when the influence around us is one of yes who you are and what I see in the morning and in bed with me at night is just the most fabulous, luscious thing, that's helpful to us, right? Until I could see that in myself, it was kind of nice to have someone say, I think you're all that. So to say, yes, get out there, be fully in love with yourself because that's the way we want, that's what we want to be moving towards. We want to be loving ourselves. We want to be at peace in our own body, right? And sometimes loving ourselves even feels too hard. So just being at peace, being in that relationship is really the most realistic and authentic way we can really engage with ourselves. So to be in that fully and then from that place engage with somebody else and make sure that they are somebody who will stand by you and say yes who you are as you are without changing one ounce is exquisite is beautiful it's essential that we feel like we are safe in our body with the people that we're around because then we can relax, then we enjoy life, then we're in more pleasure, then we feed ourselves well, then we nourish ourselves well, and then we're healthier and more vibrant, right? Then we're just like living, fully living. And that's what we wanna do, whether we are alone on this journey or partnered with in on this journey. So bottom line, know that you have your own brand of beauty, that you are worth being adored no matter who you're with, whether it's romantic or friends, and that the people around you, it's important that they reflect back that your body as it is, mm, is fabulous. All right, thanks for watching.